city in the clouds. Holy cow, look at this thing over here. What's going on with her with her legs? Why is she busting it wide open? What's going on over here? Is this how they told her to pose? Is this the sculpture she wanted? I asked no questions. It looks really cool though. Whoever sculpted it, I mean, is clearly talented. I'm just curious about what the pose, what the uh what everybody was saying about their queen. I'm assuming it's their queen, right? Wow. That is really cool. Like, really, really cool. The music sounds really nice. I mean, it is gorgeous here. Wow. Are they leeching from her or coming from her? Huh. Well, for a place that's untouched, it seems really uh, empty. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of people around here. Yep, there's the queen busting it wide open again. Oh, this time with somebody underneath her. Okay, all right. It's like a, it's like a Cardi B album cover. Wait, what's going on over here? He grabbing cheeks. Maybe the queen really is like this. Maybe the queen just out here like that. She got like 500. Or no, I guess it could be the same individual over and over again. It don't have to be 500 different dudes or, or girls, or I can't really tell the sex of who's holding them cheeks. Oh, I see some blood or something over there. Or oh, are the beginnings of the fungus for sure. Okay, cyberpunk S style. I, I, the architecture, I'm sure, is telling a crazy story right now. And if I was Indiana Jones, I'd probably pick it up. Oh, you know what? I didn't even pay attention to what's going on above me. I can't tell if this place is infected or not, or if this is the source of the infection, because it looks cleaner, and yet there are some things going around that don't look good, and yet this could be just how their world operates from the beginning anyway. Like brain matter up there, just like neurons all over the place. I just want to talk to the artist, honestly. I just want to hear, like, what was their inspiration? What were they told to go for? Because, man, this artwork is pretty cool. Confusing as all hell, but pretty cool to look at. And there's some more sculptures over here. Um, somebody in an egg. Mom caressing the egg. Mom getting in the egg with the. I don't know. I'm not answer. I'm not. Nope. Nope. This is why I don't do pictographs. I have no idea what's going on here. Either way, it ends in two people inside of something. Was I just over there? What the hell is that? Okay, we just gotta go. We just gotta go over there. I don't, I don't know what that is. That is crazy cool. Hello, I'm just here to see the really cool sculpture art that's somewhere over here. Somebody talking? Is that a person that's pregnant? I'm glad our character seems to know what to do. So right now, I'm just collecting random things all over the place. Another pregnant person. I don't think we have to worry about anything popping up. Like I said, I don't feel like this place is infested in the same way as the previous place we were in. What is this? Oh, probably that canister for what we just put in, yeah. Dude, look at this city, though. Holy cow. This is gorgeous. Just, just gorgeous. Minus the twisted displays everywhere, there is a ethereal beauty that's permeating throughout. Oh, cool music is gone, so something serious is about to happen. Oh, and the beauty's gone. Ew. Uh, why Why do these two things have to coexist? Why can't there just be beauty? Oh, because you can't appreciate the beauty without pain, right? That's the answer to that. Um, I disagree. I disagree. I don't know what's going on here, but I disagree completely. I can appreciate beauty without this part. I need to stick something in here. I don't have it. Whatever it is. That scared me. 
Hello? Hello? Uh, alright, I don't think I'm supposed to be there just yet. What the heck? Oh, for the innards. Right, right, right. I'll grab some. Sure, why not? That's a head. Tell me the word. Spread the gospel. Or did I just bring my doom? I ain't got no legs. I don't know what I'm worried about. Can't move anywhere. Ain't got no hands. Can't fight me. Was this, was this the wrong body part? Do I need to take this out or what? Oh, maybe they attach these arms and legs to this thing. I mean, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to help you out to kill me. Uh, what's in this one? It's another head. What are we about to fight, man? And also, why did we wake up for the sole purpose of fighting this particular thing? Do I need to take you out? Were you not the right head? I mean, I would not be surprised if this game was like the precursor to the Jeepers Creepers re uh, reboot. This is where Jeepers Creepers gets his start. Now we know more about what the hell he is. Because that looks like Jeepers are the creature in, uh, in this goo. Also, this head doesn't fit here. This is not the right answer. Do I need to break these? Oh! Okay, that's exactly what it was. The hell are you? It's trying to control the robot, that's for sure. So we need to kill these babies? Why? Maybe they're the ones that... I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not even going to hazard a guess. I don't know. What the... I need a new body. Oh, look at its eye, dude. That looks very human. Oh, and there is a new body. So they're creating these bodies through other people's limbs. I don't know why they need a head. Interesting. And then these babies are inserted to live inside of them? What do you know? I mean, at this point, it's anybody's guess as to what the hell's going on. Because I have no idea... Yay? I made a smoothie? Uh, uh, okay. I made a, a baby smoothie. Ew? That plant just come out of its head? And you want me to do it to... This body seems different. Well, of course they're different people. Interesting. I think the plant just came out of its head, right? So baby fetus inserted into people equals the plant. Is this like aliens where they're using the bodies as like monster creators? You're up. I don't one of these incubate. It doesn't even look like a baby in there. Maybe this isn't a baby. This is more like a, I don't know. I don't know what the heck it is here. Uh oh, this one woke up though. Wait, is this? Wait, what? Whoa, what the? Yep, yep, yep. This one figured out how to grow arms, I guess, and legs. I don't know why that's a thing. Why is that a possibility? Okay, well, you know, I was prepared for the. Oh, shit. Was not prepared for that though. Okay, 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 okay. 
Why did y'all give it the ability to shoot bombs? How do we get it to open up its, its innards so we can shoot it? Nope. We're going to play ring around. You ain't about to shoot me up. Come on. Pause and shoot. Pause and shoot. Maybe easier to sh Ah, I missed it. There's a moment where its gun seems to stop and it's trying to like reload it or like get it to work again. And that's when we have to shoot the pink thing on the side, I think. Yeah, dodge those. There we go. That's one. Uh oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. It takes me a while to get to it. By the time I get there, he's he's back up. And you don't want to get too close, otherwise you can get a bomb in the face. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, some stuff comes out, huh? Oh, uh-oh. I feel like when he kneels, maybe his front opens up. I think I'm missing. Oh, okay, I need to get away from here because I'm still getting hit. Okay, okay. Now what? That one's gone good for good. Uh, please stop walking so slow. Okay, I think we needed to get him to, yeah. To kneel down and then reveal that exposed sack. Luckily, these things are kind of easy to dodge. So don't even need to play Ring Around the Rosie. Just move. He hasn't done that, like, jump forward swing attack either, so... Haven't had to worry about him trying to close the distance. There we go. Get that out of there. What's up? What's up? Did you open up on the front yet? Can I shoot your friend? Nope. Still getting up somehow. He's hurting. Where's he going? What's he doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's taking its time to die, but it is dying. That's cool, though, that it's not like an automatic death. Open up. I need the baby maker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A gift? Ooh. Take that back. It's not dead. It was just playing dead. Oh, shit. Was not expecting that. Okay. Move out the way. I don't know what to do here. Can I stop it that way? Nope. Do a lunge attack. Nope. Doesn't want to do a lunge attack. If you could just lunge, that would be great. But how am I supposed to know when it lunges and dodge the attack at the same time? Oh, I think that hit, maybe? Oh, wait, that was another one. I'm going to try and blow him up on the back here. That does nothing. Got it. That was a waste of a bullet. No. No. There we go. That's what we needed. That was a good one. Now we're getting somewhere. Are you hurt? Oh, it's dead. It came out. That's so wow. That fits this game so well. Like, it doesn't have like a big spectacular blow up death. It's just like a, you know what? No, I'm done. That was it. And then just drops. Sick, man. Sick. That was a pretty cool boss fight. And it's the only boss fight we've had in this entire game for that matter. First of all, y'all need to stop downloading people that have guns. That makes no sense. Because they can revolt. Oh, okay, well, unless that was the plan anyway. Like, if you're creating uh, machines for these things to be able to use. Oh, is this a new gun for us? Ooh. First boss fight, and we get a new gun out of it. Finally get our grenades. Yeah, I need you two for a smoothie, apparently. Yeah. 
I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. Actually, you were kind of a dick. It's a smoothie. Da -da -na 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 -na. Oop. Oop, blood of style. All right, give me this. Give me, give me this. Oh, it's only halfway full. Oh, because the other one already had half in it. So we need to put another. Oh, don't tell me there's a second fight. Don't do that to me. Why are we not dead yet? Oh. Oh. We are all tree now. And the gun is stuck to. What is this turning us into? I'm lost. I'm confuzzled. So we need this thing on this side. Am I supposed to shoot these pillars? Yeah, that was a lucky guess. Cool. What was that sound? Oh, we pissed something off. Somebody did not like that. Dude, look at our arm, man. Like, I, look, I can't think of another game like this that has this mutating so effectively and just like drastically. And actual with real consequences too. Like it's steadily taking blood from us. And if we don't, I'm assuming heal up, we will die from it. All right, another head for you, bud. Don't don't come alive. I don't I don't know. No, no, no. I don't want another fight. Just shoot it right now. Just shoot it right now. Just shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot. Okay. All right. Round two. Because that's what I wanted to do. Let's double down on the fight, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Waste your bullets. Come on. Do you not see your friend over there? Just give up. You already know what's going to happen. You see your friend right here. I got something for you, bud. Love that. That took care of that fight instantly. That's great. That's awesome. Who saw that coming? They were like, no, we totally get you. Probably don't want to do that fight again. We'll take care of it for you. And if their body dies, they seem to die. All right. They all seem to die the same. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was great. I, I love that they were just like, no, don't worry, we're not gonna make you fight for 30 minutes again, maybe 15 minutes again. Just shoot a grenade in there, fight's over, that's great. That's awareness from a developer. A developer realizing like, no, I'm not just gonna make you do things just to do things, the game has a point, that's awesome. Love that, love everything about that. And here's this thing again, not my other arm. What more can you, okay, well, now we can't heal up anymore, so I probably should have healed Huh. Probably should have healed up first, huh? We're a tree. We don't have much more time. I, I, we, <laughs> if we don't get to where we're going and do what we need to do, we ain't gonna make it to... Oh, right. I lost the thing. Did I drop it or... Yeah, it's right here. I have the thing in my hand right here. Here, you put it in. Here, put it, put it in for me. You have the canister. I can't do it. I didn't explore this way before. This is new to me. Oh, uh, huh. What? Oh, Jesus. I need more bullets. I kind of wasted all the bullets because I didn't know what to do. I wonder what happens if you waste all the... What does this do? Does it remove the fungi? Oh no, it hurt the lizard. Hey, I saw our hand is underneath that. Okay. So the lizard is spreading around us. What is this? Oh, it gave us time. Okay, it's giving us time. It's giving us time. To... Okay, I need more time than that. That's a dilemma. I think I'm going to have to reload because I don't have any bullets. I can't... I can't do this. 
They give you exactly what they give you, and I can't reload. Oh, I, I see. I'm an idiot. Okay, they did give us rounds. I see, I see. Sometimes I'm a little slow, because like I said, they don't tell you exactly what to do. So I'm a little slow on what it is that needs to be done. And also, this proves that there's a cure. We just need to find one that goes over our entire body. Painful, but possible. So now we just need to grab this. Thank you. I, I Now I understand. Yes. Really need to get this lizard off of us, man. At least, in, at least the, the lizard was kind enough to give us a room to get some health. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I can't go through this without hurting myself first. His hand, no matter what, is going to be tore up after this, dude. It's going to just be pierced a thousand times. Thank you. Okay, what do we got going on in here? More bullets. What? And more bodies for these things to be put in? That's got a five over there as well, so we can't do anything over there. One more. Yeah, no, that does nothing. Okay. Great. Can't use this, though, because I don't have a hand. They're giving me rounds, which must mean there's... Oh, okay, I see. I didn't see this before, but now I see. I'm going to try as soon as y'all give me an opening. Got it. I should have known when earlier there were sounds being made that I should have turned around and looked to see what the sounds were about. They were clearly telling me to look. Are you kidding me? Really, guys? Come on, man. What this freaking hand piercing thing? It's not me. Wait. I can't even do this one. Can I? Two, three, four, five. Oh, that's how you get the fifth one. Okay, right, right, right. But I'm starting to pierce my hand again just to open the door. Oh. Hopefully, there's health on the other side of this door. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Hello. Back to the creepy machines that I was using on Chuck. Oh, this is a little bit different than what Chuck had going on. Hmm. Still seems like it's part of their civilization from the beginning, though. Wait, what's this? Can't use it. But it looks like a lizard remover. Like you lay down on it and it takes a lizard off you. In which case, I am all for that. Dude, is that the queen and the king making love again? Or the queen and one of her many lovers making love again? Somebody making love. I don't feel like it's the right answer. I feel like we're about to get stopped. Oh, no, we didn't get stopped. I'll be damned. Oh! Okay, well, we're dead now, right? There's no way we come back from that. There's a parasite coming out of our stomach. Okay, well, at least we made it in time to this thing getting removed from our back. What? I just want to examine this more than... It's a legit parasite. This whole time he's had a whole nother human being laying on his back. That's disturbing as hell. This is easily one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. I could not imagine something being stuck to my back growing like that. Oh my, it's a, it started off as a lizard. 
Oh my god. Ah! What are you, man? Get the hell off of us. Ah! <laughs> no! No, I gotta take a break, yo. I gotta take a break. That's disgusting as hell. I don't like centipedes, and this thing reminds me of a centipede, all of its legs just wrapped around you. That's one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen in a video. I gotta take a break. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's disgusting. Oh, uh, let's just do this. That's just disgusting, dude. But also, you can kind of take a look at what we are. I am a little bit curious to see what we look like outside of the alien on us. I'm seeing some skin that actually kind of looks like fleshy. Like it looks normal-esque minus, you know, thing humping us on the back. All right, how do we remove this thing? How do we get this off of us? Uh, there we go. Got it. Got it. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. I don't know how we're alive. I have no, his, his intestines are opened. I don't even want to look at this thing really. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Do not let it get back on you. Shoot that, shoot that ugly ass thing. Oh, it just ran off. Can't even walk right, dude. Probably because there's a hole inside of you. Oh, I don't have access to a gun. Please shoot this thing. Please don't let this thing just pop back up on me. I don't know how we're walking right now. Why is this gate closed? Shouldn't this be open? This is where I just came from, right? Yeah. That was truly disgusting. That was na that was just nasty, and it just. It freaks me out thinking about even running into that thing again. I really hope that was the last we see of that, because... Ah! Ah! Okay. I'm wondering if this is getting close to the scene where we have the intro of the game, where we pass out on the ground. But I thought we were kind of on the dirt with that one, though, so maybe not. makes plant yeah 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 that's death i think that lizard thing is actually probably done with us it sees us and it's like no i pretty much finished doing everything i need to do there queen i'll tell you what if that lizard does decide to come back we definitely won't be able to fight it off not that we fought it off the first time anyway All right, here we go. Another flower. The blood of a baby. That's 10. Interesting. Oh, and this is how we get to that mural. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what's going on here? Is this the queen again? Yep. Here we go with the dude and the queen. Except this time she's got some kind of elephant mask on. But definitely getting rammed here. Also, this is going to be one of the toughest protagonists I've ever played as as well. How he's still walking with his insides outside and he's just a normal whatever he is. That's impressive. Or whatever she is. Uh, I see brain. I see some kind of transmutations on their arms, their blades, heads. 
Heston's. I don't know. Still not clear yet. Yeah, that didn't stay very long. I'm not gonna be able to hobble over there that fast. So what? Huh? Yeah, it seems like we need two people. Don't have whatever they want there. Do 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 do. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, we're about to become one of the freaking idols. This is gonna hurt. Which? What do you mean switch? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh! What the hell is going on, y'all? I am lost. And why is this thing still operating on him? What? It, it, what? What's the goal here? You can stop. I'm confused. Is he still alive or is he controlling? Why is it still cutting into him? Well, at least now you're getting a good idea of what he looks like. And also it explains why he never spoke. He doesn't have a mouth. Okay, now I need to learn how to switch. to these two pregnant individuals and then we're gonna get another door for the arm I mean we're gonna get another key on the arm if this arm doesn't bleed it's special it feels no pain then again if this is being controlled by the one that's being carried I mean at this point does it really matter I, I uh, he's gone through so much I mean pain is nothing to him I'm very curious about the backside of what the hell are we? What is this? I mean, it's one of the most interesting things I've ever seen in a video game, but just what is going on? And he's connected by a brain strand, so he's gotta be controlling both of these things then.
Why it's still cutting into him, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not want to see this thing again. One thing, just one thing real quick. I just want to watch the cutscene again to see if maybe it provided some kind of insight as to what the hell we just watched to the ending of this game. Gorn is different, man. We have, what, 300-something-plus videos on the channel so far, and this is the first one where not only am I completely lost in the story, but I'm also very interested in what it was trying to say and what just happened there. Like, very, very interested because, wow. Like, I already looked up 
whether there were multiple endings. I haven't looked up what the story is yet, but I looked up whether there were multiple endings to see if there's any benefit to playing this again and doing something differently. There's not. That ending is that ending, which is great because one, that means I don't have to go through this whole game again, but also that means that this is a, this is the story. This is the story that somebody set out to tell, which means it's there. We just have to decipher what it means. Not going to do that here. We're going to do that on the Steam page. For those of you who are not sticking around to hear the final thoughts on the Steam page, I'll say this. Hopefully you enjoyed the experience. I know gameplay, it's not the most exciting thing to watch, right? There's only there's not that many combatants, not that much action. It's more about in taking in the the atmosphere in this world that's created. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you turned off your lights. Got your popcorn. Looking at you, Brian. And you enjoyed this experience. You went on this journey with me. And uh, you came out the other side. Maybe less confused than me, but still going, what the fuck did we just experience? <laughs> Man, that was different. But uh, um, yeah, for everybody else, I'll see you on the Steam page for Scorn. All right, as you can tell, we are here on the Steam page for Scorn. Let's start with what we think the story is about. Before I go into looking up what the story actually is about, I'd like to just give my initial thoughts. And this is right after playing it. I haven't had some days to kind of marinate and think about what it is we, we saw and experienced. But my initial thoughts are this. We play as an individual whose sole purpose is to go through a trial to see if they're worthy or not to enter heaven. I know, I know, bear with me. I know you're just like, what? What, what did you think we're playing? This is my initial thoughts just because I don't know how else to piece this story together. It seemed like at the end, there were a bunch of bodies that had their chest ripped open, very similar to how our character ends up getting his chest ripped open. And I can only assume that's because they all went on a similar journey to get to that moment. And none of them, or maybe some of them have, but once you're plugged into the brain network your last task is to carry your body over into this this other side this probably like utopia that's waiting for you if you can make it not everybody can and in our character's case they did not make it now i don't know what that says about the rest of the game whether like the rest of the game is hell or this is just the world they're born into like what this means like i don't know i just have a religious kind of thing to it because you know at the end we saw a lot of pregnancies and birth and then this door opens up to this other kind of world where and I don't know he's being carried into it and it just felt very like okay this is the final gate to their utopia that's why we had to go so far up into the sky right so that to me symbolizes heaven or like at least the gateway to heaven and unfortunately he failed his final task which was to avoid being killed by that thing I don't know if that theory holds all the way up because the machine could have also cut into those individuals. Like obviously it cut into our individual. So maybe you don't need that monster attached to your back to have you ripped open like he was. Maybe some people just go through the process of having the machine rip them up, upload them to this neural link, and then they walk across and they don't have to worry about this monster. But the monsters had to come from somewhere. Now I'm going to look up the story and we're going to see how close we were to what I just said. Okay, I have now done a little bit more research on the ending or just the overall story of Scorn. And it doesn't seem like there's definitive answers really out there from anybody. Everybody's kind of speculating on what they think Scorn is about. What I'm seeing, though, that I didn't even consider was that in the beginning, instead of it being what I thought to be a time jump between our character and our character in the beginning and then our character in the end which i guess now looking back doesn't make sense because char clearly our character by the end of the game ends up becoming this disgusting mess of parasitic whatever so it can't be the same character that we see in the beginning of the game they are two separate characters and that that main character that we start act one in with the one that was going across the desert, fell into the hole, the one that uh, solved the puzzle where we had to move the eggs around and then we cracked its shell and everything. 
that is actually the parasite that attaches to the main character that we end up playing the rest of the game as so there's two characters the one we play at uh, we play as both of them but one of them turns into the parasite and then latches on to our main character here and begins to transform him into whatever he's trying to transform so he essentially feeds on him and what i'm seeing is that that scene where we did the thing with the tree and then that that sperm looking stuff fell on us they're saying that that may have transformed that first character into that parasite that we see walking around and i'm curious because i thought we saw that parasite multiple times i thought it was because there was multiple of them but i guess that's really the only time we ever saw those things so maybe that was just him all along stalking us wow i just i, I never I never put that together, but it does make so much more sense when it comes to the beginning of the game and why we're seeing two different two different setups of, of characters doing two different things. Well, I still, the heaven thing still kind of, and maybe heaven is too literal. Like when I say heaven, most people think of, you know, religion and angels and what? But maybe I'm just trying to say that it's a place that you go to that's nirvana for them. It's a place that allows them to escape whatever their situation is here and this trial that they have to go through i was thinking that maybe the parasite was a part of it but it seems like if if the parasite is the main character or not the main character but the first character we played as that probably wouldn't have been part of the ritual that was just something that our character went through but the surgical part is part so no matter what you got to go through like a painful trial period to even get to that final moment the parasite's goal that one's a little bit harder to me right because if it is the main character did it is it just coincidence i keep saying main character if it is the first person we played as is it coincidence that it ran into the second character i don't know this one's hard this one is so speculative like there's so many theories and i'm sure you all have theories and i'd love to hear them if you have a theory please drop it in the comment section below because i'd love 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 some clarification or not even clarification just ideas of what what we just saw i mean even looking at the keys how the keys are are used and implemented they're attached to your hand through pain so it seems like the society before the introduction of whatever fungus was growing all over here was already kind of on the boundaries of something like the furthest reaches of like experience like they clearly had a relationship with pain and they clearly had a relationship with sex that may be a little bit outside what we would consider ordinary but then somehow this thing gets introduced into their world and that's like i think where my disconnect comes in is like what happened that allowed this fungus stuff to start growing but maybe there weren't the reason that the place that we started off on had so much fungus was because they were mining the people that were in the it like it looked almost like a mine when you think about it. like we were underground we were deep underground and we had to shoot up to the sky but maybe not maybe it wasn't the sky though maybe it was just the surface level and they had been mining deep down and they had found these these people in those shells because we had moved those eggs around so what if they had found these eggs and found people in them and then they had started creating a um a system of pulling these people out and using them to create this serum i don't know how but they were doing something to these people that was creating these mutated babies that they were grinding up to make what they needed to do this neural uplink and then the problem became there's a side effect it unleashed a fungus either the fungus was already down there and the further they dug down they unleashed it or by creating the serum they unleashed this fungi because we never see mention of those shell people again so maybe that's because they're only really located in the mines itself granted i guess that would mean that we would have to see some version of them in the palace but maybe the mutated babies is the version of them that we saw so that's something those those right there that we just saw i'm thinking they did they use those as a resource to create this serum and that's where this all starts that's where the problem began and that's why it's so so widespread in the mine area because this is the this is the root of the fungi just so many ways that you can go with this please if you have ideas or suggestions drop them in the comments below i want to hear them this is, I, I feel like you can have a dialogue about this game for a long long time i want to move on from the story though and uh what i want to talk about is my my impressions on the game overall i'd say well, let me start with this when we first started playing the game and you may some of you may be uh, be able to tell from my first video i wasn't really feeling it 
like i was like i'm gonna get through this game i bought it for 40 dollars and you know plus tax i'm gonna play it till the end however the bleakness of the game and kind of the dullness of it like it 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 was turning me off like i'm exploring this world and i'm just like man i bet you it's really cool but i can really not make out anything because everything kind of looks similar it's too dull for me to really enjoy and then the combat came in and i'm like oh now i get this this tongue thrasher thing that it, it doesn't really do anything it makes combat even not fun and i'm just like ah this is gonna be a struggle to get through it and i'm not sure when the turning point i think the turning point came i want to say somewhere around the introduction of the outside and the introduction of creatures and then the guns and then suddenly things started to pick up suddenly i became more appreciative of this world that was being created i became excited for the way this game was paced how it was slower and you had to take more time with it but that's because that was what the intention of the developers were i had to untrain my mind not untrain it but i had to stop thinking of this game as my my traditional horror games that i had expected i had come in with a preconceived notion of what scorn was and when it wasn't living up to it i was disappointed in the game but then when i played enough of it to finally understand how the game was pacing itself and the story it wanted to tell i enjoyed it immensely i couldn't wait to get back online and play through scorn because it is a fascinating world with a lot of story that you want to dive into the combat actually can be pretty fun the more guns we got the more fun i had the shotgun the pistol I thought was great. I wish the pistol and the lasher again had difference in damage. They should not be sharing the same amount of damage. That doesn't make sense to me. Um, but the guns were just, it was, they were a lot of fun to play with and they were a lot of fun to use. Granted, it's not a combat game. That's, it's very clear. If you focus on combat, you're not going to have a good time because nine times out of 10, I think if you get yourself into a situation where there's more than one enemy, you're in, you're in trouble. There's not a lot of ammo to go around and he fires and reloads very slowly and let's just for a second talk about the character designs and the world the world is one of the best worlds i've ever experienced where you just you feel the overtaking of this parasitic fungus it feels lived in it feels disgusting you're just like you feel that there was a civilization here that was completely destroyed by this material and it just it's one of the best games i've seen do it last of us had a really i think uh similar world where i felt how kind of abandoned or nature taking back over the city that world was this world felt parasitic it felt like there was something that had invaded that wasn't supposed to be there and it was just spreading fast and there was nothing you could do to stop it so good and then the actual creature designs weren't well i'm not a big fan of the ones you fight too much i think they're kind of they were kind of boring to me they didn't feel very uninspired they were just kind of like a faceless blob of mess of things that just kind of lumbered at you but the freaking lizard thing man the, the that thing is i think the most terrifying thing i've ever seen in a horror game i i think i would put it at number one yeah i can't think of anything that's even close to it the legs the flower opening with the head on the back the tail i that just just bravo to them because i've never seen something so more so so nightmare fueling yeah i mean those are really my final thoughts i don't know if i'll ever have a definitive answer to what score is about maybe somebody will come out and like from the actual development team or the the writers and be like this is what scorn is i doubt it you probably have more fun watching people figure out what a game is than actually figure out would it uh, are then to actually put like a, a fine period on something i feel like there's just so many different character designs between the lizard the fungi the uh, the creatures that come from the fungi the plants the um uh that giant goopy monster that you don't really see any reference to anywhere else there are so many different things going on and the the even your protagonist they're not human they're clearly something different and they were already into some kind of out there stuff it becomes hard to separate what was already their civilization like what was already there living there and then what came later and started to like really wreck things for the people but that's it those are all of my thoughts for scorn i'm gonna play some of the credits here i'm not gonna play the full thing just because it is really long for some reason they get to the, the tester thank yous on the uh the game and it just goes on 
forever like i didn't see the end of the testing thank you so i just had to stop it and someone was like yeah we got to move on yeah i look forward to seeing y'all on the next video thank you so much for checking out narrative gaming i look forward to seeing you in the next one deuces